Hey guys, T Ron bringing you a tutorial today on how to do kind of a writing effect in After Effects, like I did in my last montage, which I'll show you. Buddy, my name is E Double. Their name is PJ Harvey. Let's go. So it's kind of a simple effect. It might take a little while just because of the masking involved. But basically, we're just going to start out with a new text layer. I'll just do text. I'll say T Rom. Eh. I'll just do kill. That'll be good enough for now. So, I'm going to want to zoom in. Make sure you got the text layer selected. Zoom into about 50. Uh, we can go farther. We can go 100%. And I'll drag over. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to mask over the word kill. So, you can see we're just going to start out by. Oh, what did it do there? Nah, uh, I want to mask over the text and then pretty much follow the path of the word. So as you can see, we'll just come over here and come down there, down there. And then you're going to want to click the mouse button and deselect that mask. And then you're going to want to go ahead and do a new mask on each letter. So just deselect again and do another new mask one last time. I want to do that. And then one last mask over the letters. There we go. So now if we go to Effect, Generate, Stroke, we're going to want to make sure it says check all masks. That will make sure it will go over all our masks. And then we're going to want to do Reveal Original Image. And as you can see, the white lines are pretty small right there. So you're going to want to go ahead and bump up the brush size to as big as you need until you can see the entire text. So as you can see right there, you can see that. So that brush size should be good. And if you undo the end, you can see the text will go away. It'll go away in the path you selected. So as you see, I can you know, move that along. We're just going to basically be keyframing that to animate it. So we'll just set a keyframe with zero right here, then we'll move it along a little bit. And then we'll set that up to 100. So we'll just fit it back up and deselect that. And if you see, as we move along, it's writing out the text for you. So you can do that with any type of text. You can do that with other stuff besides text. And just use that effect. It's pretty simple. And it'll give you a cool handwriting effect if you want. And I'll just show you a quick little clip with this added in. So thanks for watching.